My name is Dion Pinar. Um, I'm a director of the St. Francis Property Owners NPC and I also serve on the technical committee and my responsibility is the long-term beach protection project. The long-term coastal protection infrastructure um, will comprise beach nourishment and uh, building groins. Beach nourishment is the placement of approximately 1 million cubic meters of sand um, along the full length of the beach from main beach up to the Cromer River, River mouth. Um, that will create a beach approximately 40 meters wide and approximately 1 meter higher than the existing beach level. And that provides the protection for the properties and backshore infrastructure. Um, because the beach dissipates the energy of the waves. The um, groins are rock structures that um, are built into the sea, in our case approximately 170 meters long. And the purpose of the groins is to retain and intercept and retain the sand that is moving past the beach or along the beach. It is common knowledge that we have a northward drift of sand and, these, and the groins will intercept the movement of, this, of the sand that is being washed northwards. We um, will source the sand for the nourishment from the Kromer River estuary. Um, the sand in the estuary has been tested and it was found that the properties of the sand in the estuary is the same as the properties of the sand on the beach, which makes it a suitable source. Um, over time, the estuary has built up, uh, a lot of sand has been built up in the, within the estuary, um, which makes it difficult for boats to navigate um, along the estuary. And it also reduces the area available for water sports, such as canoeing, swimming, um, windsurfing, kitesurfing and the like. And taking sand from the estuary will make it easier to navigate along the estuary and make it safer for all the water users. We have decided to hold back on the submission of our environmental impact report at the beginning of this year. And the reason is twofold. Um, firstly, the Diet asked the question or their concern was what would happen to the beaches north of our groins um, if they are built. And secondly, um, we also um, addressed concerns uh, raised by the community um, during the previous public participation round, um, such as comments that we received from the surface regarding the angle of the groins, uh, the positions of the groins and so forth. We um, decided to use updated surveys for this um, modeling that we asked our consultants, our coastal consultants at Vision to do to address the Diet's concerns. And um, we have obtained uh, surveys of the bay, of the estuary and of the beach. And we expect that Vision's report around about the end of October. We will use the month of November um, for CES, our environmental consultants, to um, evaluate um, the impacts of the new information and to uh, incorporate it in their reports. The updated environmental reports will be taken through a new round of public participation. And um, we will then, or CS will then incorporate any new comments from the public and um, into the, they will incorporate that into the documentation and submit it to the Diet hopefully early next year. And um, then we await approval. Um, we cannot start immediately with construction. Uh, we need two things to start construction. Uh, firstly, we need environmental approval. Uh, but second, we, secondly, we need um, sufficient funding to start construction. Um, we've asked Advision to um, also update the costings, and that will be included in the report, which we will receive by the end of the month. But based on previous um, reports, we expect it to be in the order of about 100 million rand. Um, 
the first phase is estimated, um, was estimated in the previous round about 35 million and we will have an updated estimate by the end of this month. Um, we have to date accumulated through SRA levies approximate, well just over 10 million rand. So we've got a way to go. Um, there are several sources of funding. Um, firstly, there is the SRA levy. Um, secondly, there are organisations like the Deperians and the Cromo Joint River Committee that commit, committed to co-fund the project. Uh, the municipality has committed to uh, uh, contribute funding to the project. In fact, um, they have already contributed in constructing the emergency revetment. And um, then a number of uh, private people have indicated that they would like to contribute. Um, so early next year we intend to go on a new um, donor funding drive um, and uh, there's always the probability that government will contribute. The municipality have made it very clear that they will assist us in, in obtaining funds for the project.